Happy Christmas. Hey everybody, Dirty Dan here. Today I just want to have a quick chat about what I think would be the best locomotive for someone who wants to start getting into repairing locomotives and such. Um, now I, I, I picked this, the C-Liner. Um, the AHM C-Liner, most of them say Tempo. Um, and the reason I pick it is because they're so easy to take apart in service and you really don't need much to take them apart. Really all you're going to need is a flathead screwdriver and that's about it. And you can pry the shell off real easy. I could probably do it with one hand. Oh, yep, I can. And you can see the parts are very big and easy to work with. That's why I recommend this as such... An easy, easy locomotive to work on. And once you, you know, get them done, they're really, really good, you know, pullers. And they're really nice to have. Which, uh, as you guys know, I have quite the collection of the famed sea liners So, there are a few things that not a lot of people, you know, are going to have. You gotta have grease, and you probably want to get some label, label grease, label oil... If you want to start working on this stuff. But as a start, I'd recommend getting one of these. Maybe You could probably find one on eBay for, I don't know, 10, 20 bucks. To, uh, that's probably not working. Maybe five, depending on how lucky you are. But usually you can find these pretty much anywhere. They're pretty popular. Um, and it's they're pretty easy to fix. Um, if you guys would be interested, I'd love to do a video on how to fix them. Um, and, you know, how to service them. They're super easy to service. They're, there's really only a few gears. They're super easy to take apart. And they're not really that complicated. So, that's why I recommend these as such a good beginner, you know, vintage locomotive. So, anyways, guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed that uh, tad bit of advice. And, um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. When I make more, um, good content. Anyways, guys, I'll see you tomorrow.